Scramble is a technique developed in synthetic biology to create genotypic and phenotypic changes. It is dependent on two cellular components, a Cre recombinase enzyme which induces changes in the DNA and LOXP sites that direct the Cre recombinase. The LOXP acronym is derived from locus of crossover of P1 bacteriophage, whilst the Cre recombinase name is derived from the words causes recombination. Cre recombinase is a 38 kilodalton protein that was identified as being important in viral replication during the lysogenic phase of the P1 bacteriophage. The idea of using the Cre LOXP system for inducible genetic recombination had been around for a considerable amount of time before Scramble was developed. In 1981, Sternberg and Hamilton analysed the bacteriophage P1 site-specific recombination system by cloning an echo R1 fragment into a lambda phage vector. They identified that LOXP sites and the P1 gene they dubbed Cre were necessary for recombination to occur with no other protein factors required. Hence, they understood the required components but were unsure of the mechanism driving the system. In 1984, Hossen Abramsky published a paper on the mechanism of the Cree LOX system. They discovered that the LOXP sites contain two symmetric 13 base pair regions separated by an asymmetric ACE base pair sequence. They determined that Cree covalently binds to two 17 base pair domains, each consisting of one of the 13 symmetric sequences as well as four of the adjacent bases of the spacer. So far, these experiments had been conducted in prokaryotes as the Cree system came from the P1 bacteriophage. In 1987, Brian Sawyer conducted site-specific recombination using the Cree lock system in Saccharomyces cerevisiae, commonly known as baker's and brewer's yeast. His results demonstrated that the prokaryotic Cree recombinase was able to perform its function as normal in a eukaryotic nucleus. This was also an indication that the recombinase activity was not hindered by the presence of chromatin in eukaryotic nuclei. A year later in 1988, Sawyer and Henderson demonstrated the functionality of the system in mammalian mouse cells, tagging with it an idea that using Cree locks in eukaryotes may provide a method for understanding and controlling genome arrangements. The Cree LOXP system functions as a control mechanism for the incorporation of inversions, deletions and translocations into a genome. Because LOXP sites and Cree recombinase are both required for the mechanism to take place, conditional selection is allowed based on whether the Cree recombinase gene is expressed in a cell. Inversions take place in the genome when the two LOXP sites are facing in opposite directions. Cree recombinase recognises the orientation of the LOXP sites and the gene is inverted. Deletions occur when the two LOXP sites are facing the same direction. Cree recombinase recognises the orientations of the LOXP sites and the gene is removed, resulting in the original sequence with only one LOXP site and another DNA segment containing the gene and the second LOXP site. Translocations occur when the LOXP sites are located on separate chromosomes. This results in the segments succeeding the LOXP sites being exchanged between the two chromosomes. Without LOXP sites for direction in DNA modification, Cree recombinase can have negative effects on cells. Jan Bandu et al. published a paper in 2014 addressing some of these effects, which include DNA damage, causing interruption of growth to and mitosis phases in cell division, uncontrolled genomic instability such as inversions and deletions, and tetraploidy, the duplication of chromosomes leading to four copies of each. Tetraploidy is the most detrimental of the three and was observed in cell line HCT116, human colon cancer cells. By employing live cell imaging, an extension of the G2 phase of cell division was observed, followed by the absence of mitosis. Tetraploidy must be avoided as it can lead to aneuploidy, an abnormal number of chromosomes in a cell, which itself is a hallmark of cancer. The scramble system was first described by Diamond et al. in 2011 in a paper published in Nature. This group of researchers had been involved in a project aiming to generate a wholly synthetic yeast cell through the construction of individual yeast chromosomes. They introduced Scramble as an inducible evolution system which could create a large variety of genotypes and phenotypes and described it as an incorporated conditional genome instability system. Without the diversity generated, this synthetic chromosome would have been a duplicate of the chromosomes found in nature. There are some differences between the usual Cree LOXP system and its involvement in Scramble. The team used the Cree LOX mediated system with an estrogen binding domain first described in 2009 in a paper titled 
the Mother Enrichment Program. In this paper, Lindstrom and Gottschling describe a system whereby the daughter cell's ability to proliferate is removed. This allows for the replicative lifespan, the number of times an individual cell divides before it undergoes senescence, of the mother cell of Saccharomyces cerevisiae to be analysed in a simplified fashion. This oestrogen binding domain allows the system to be inducible on demand rather than continuously active and is controlled by the daughter cell promoter SCW11. This figure here is of the team's incorporated LOXP sites. They are wholly symmetrical and were thus termed LOXP sim sites. The team incorporated their LOXP sim sites into the three prime untranslated regions of all their non-essential genes that had been previously determined in the S. cerevisiae genome. This allowed for all essential genes for the organism's survival to be unhindered. As these LOXP sim sites lacked directionality, they could align themselves in either direction. As the probability of aligning in either direction was 50%, the team assumed that this would create inversions and deletions of the genes in equal proportions. As mentioned previously, Diamond et al. generated Scramble as an inducible method of genetic recombination and modification. This is done by controlling both the Cree recombinase gene and the resulting Cree gene product. The Cree recombinase gene can be regulated using a galactose inducible promoter. The S. cerevisiae strains can be subjected to scalactose for a controlled period of time to induce Cree recombinase production for scramble activity before the substrate is removed and the activity is diminished. The Cree recombinase enzyme in this paper had been modified with an estradiol binding domain, allowing the activity of Cree to be induced with the presence of estradiol, the most common estrogen. Theoretically, the authors wanted the scramble system to perform recombination and modification once per cell over its whole lifetime. By creating scramble, Diamond et al. generated genotypic and phenotypic diversity among the synthetic chromosomes of S. cerevisiae. Figure 10 from their supplementary information shows the diversity of the resulting phenotypes within only 22 of their scrambled clones. The dark blue line indicates the wild type S. cerevisiae and the solid yellow line is the unscrambled synthetic chromosome, both of which were used as controls. The viability of the synthetic chromosome that underwent scramble also visibly reduced, providing evidence of the loss of proliferative ability in the daughter cells. Diamond et al. stated in their 2011 paper that scramble could be used for the analysis of structure, content and function of genomes. Since their paper, the new synthetic chromosomes of S. cerevisiae have also been subjected to scramble. As scramble is specific to synthetic biology, it has not been implemented in other research fields. The Cree LOXP system is still currently in use in other fields with particular success in neuroscience. Scramble can still be used as a technique for studying the necessity of genes in organisms to lead to minimal genomes in the advancement of synthetic biology, as well as generating diverse strains of synthetic organisms as in 2011. Its application elsewhere is currently limited, with the Cree LOXP system a more versatile apparatus on its own. Perhaps in the future another application for scrambled will be discovered but for now, it remains a limited tool for genotypic and phenotypic rearrangements and modifications in synthetic organisms.